Hey guys, it's Doc, and before I start this video, I'm just gonna let you know that I decided to pull all of the sort of work footage, all that footage, and put it at the end of this video. I figured let's get to the point of the video, let's get to the tips, let's talk about how we're gonna help your lawn heal, and then I'll put sort of a montage together of all the work so that you can see some of it. Some people like to watch that stuff, but I figured I'd put it at the end of the video just so you know how it's going to happen. So let's start the video. Hey guys, it's Doc, and you know it's funny. When you come out of a drought, it seems like everything comes alive. <laughs> You've had basically no rain for four weeks. Everything's dried up. Everything just sort of just goes like this. Everything just shuts down. Then you get a big thunderstorm come through, or a big rain event that dumps two or three inches of, of water down, and things start to come alive again. Wildlife is out. Flowers are out. The garden's blooming. The grass is starting to grow. So I'm going to talk to you today about recovery and things that you can do to help your lawn recover and things you might want to think about. So hold on one sec. Hey guys. So yeah, we're coming off four weeks with basically zero rain. During that period, a couple two or three minute rain showers and that's it. But just absolutely burn out. Now I did a video last week and showing you that every lawn in my neighborhood is fried. There isn't a single lawn in here that's not fried except for mine because of the short cycle watering I've been doing which is a daily watering at 4 p.m. There's a video up on it you can read up on it but it worked out really well and it saved my lawn. Some of the other lawns that I help out with here, Barb's, the world's worst, our test area over here, completely fried. I mean just like every other lawn. But we had a big rain event, and I'm going to put that video up <laughs> of the thunderstorm we had. And I had my redneck rain gauge out, which everyone should have a redneck rain gauge, just a bucket sitting outside. So you can tell how much water you get, or if you even got rain. You're at work, it's at night, did you get any rain? <laughs> Down the end of the street may get three inches, and you get none. So you have to have some kind of rain gauge out to tell specifically exactly if your lawn got rain or not. That's real important. We have a change in weather pattern coming through. So the past month has been extremely hot, extremely dry. Temperature is 93 to 97, 98 degrees, just real burning, burning hot. But this change in weather pattern, we had a big thunderstorm come through. All this week, we're gonna see temperatures get out of the 90s and get into the 80s. A couple more weather patterns move in, some more rain. So I need to adjust that. I need to adjust my lawn, but I also need to prepare my lawn for that change. There are two things that we're going to talk about today. Number one is adjusting my cutting height, getting, getting control of my lawn height again, which is kind of a pain in the butt to be honest, and then putting things out that are going to help our lawn recover quickly. And I'm going to show you, it's pretty amazing how quickly a lawn will recover if you have a healthy lawn. And that's what we're going to stress today. Now, probably the most important video of the next couple months is coming out next week, and it's the fall schedule. And it's gonna to talk to you about exactly what to do in the fall. Everything you need to be watching out for, whether it's fertilizer, whether it's bugs, whether it's disease, preparing for the winter. Make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your bell, the notification bell. Do that, otherwise you'll miss the video. So. Just understand what I'm doing today. I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you the difficulties that I face when I bring down my lawn, trying to bring it back from that drought height down to a manageable height. Uh, we'll put out some PGF and then I'm doing some, I'm not going to put this on today's video, but on Super Juice, we've got some new spray heads that I've asked Andersons to try and list on Amazon that'll cure the old spray bottle issue that we've always had. So I'll be doing some testing on different ratios of the spray heads. Uh, and hopefully within the next probably maybe four weeks or so, we'll have some new spray bottles listed that'll solve that problem of all the stupid spray bottles we've been having. So that's about it. Let's just roll some video and uh, I'll show you what we're doing and how we're getting these lawns back to healthy now that we've broken this drought weather pattern. we got a new pattern moving in. So hold on. All right, so let me give you a little report of what I've done. I've cut barbs, it wasn't too bad, I didn't bring it down too short. Did the world's worst, didn't bring it down too short. But let me show you what happens, especially on the typical lawn, I have a typical lawn, that has a lot of bumps, rut marks over the years. Now we've only owned this house three years, 
Uh, it's like 13 years old, and the people that had it before us put rut marks. We've been trying to fix it, but this is what happened. So when you try and cut low with John Deere, now I have four scalp wheels. Keep that in mind. I have four scalp wheels set properly, but uh, you're going to... And I took it down. That's about as low as I can take it with the deer. But look at the scalp marks. You can just see them all over the place. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come back. This is what I'm talking about. Now, you see these patches with uh, lots of clippings here? With lots of clippings over here. I'll put my bags on now. I did not put my bags on before. I'll put my bags on and I'm going to run over this, pick up these clippings, and then I'm probably going to run over this with my real mower now. And then, and then after I do the real mower, I'll probably have to come back and bag those clippings again with John Deere. So it's a long process of taking it down, taking it down, taking it down. Now I can risk this because I got two inches of rain. You know, I got a nice deep soil soak yesterday, plus I have irrigation. So I can risk this low cut. Not everyone can do this. But uh, I'll show you the other yards a little bit later. Okay, so phase one was cut the grass, no bags. I just did phase two. Phase two, put the bags on, raise my thing up one quarter, one click, so I'm not recutting again, and then go back and pick up the majority of the cuttings real quick. Again, now we're ugly. We've got a bunch of bur bunch of scalp marks. This is what happens. See, right there. See them. And those can actually damage your lawn, so you got to be careful. You got to treat these carefully. Now we get out the real mower and cut with the real mower. Step number. <laughs> step number three. Step number three, real cutting. <sighs> of course. Now I'm cutting a thick, kind of long, long here. I'm not cutting a golf green. So you might get some of these weird patterns in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do step number four, ride the tractor, pick up the clippings, and then I may go this way and cut this way too. Do a full takedown. I'll be honest, I'm so hot and tired and sweating right now. I don't know what step I'm on, four? <sighs> cut with the John Deere bag, step two, cut with the real mower, three, bag, four, cut the opposite way, step five, and now I'm getting ready to go on to step six, which is put down a coat of PGF complete. I'm only doing the front today. So let me try and show you what this grass looks like before I put the fertilizer out. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Whew. Short, nasty, yellow, brown, ugly. That's what she looks like. That's what you gotta do. Box from Amazon, two bags, and it comes two bags per box when you work that way. Uh, I'm all sweaty cornstarch baby powder like I showed you before. I'm only going to put one glove on. My favorite gloves. It goes right on even when I'm sweaty. I'm only putting one glove on because all I'm going to do is the little strip on my sidewalk and then I have some little areas that I'll grab it and throw it. Plus I also throw PGF Complete into all my gardens. So. Quarter of an inch is my slot on the machine. Don't cut your legs. PG is complete. And the reason why I wear the glove is I'm not worried about anything inside of here. The humic DG breaks apart so fast, so quickly those little particles that sweat you you'll sort of have this black sticky stuff on your hands let me show you the product real quick all right so there she is pgf complete with all your macros all your micros humic dg three percent iron super small particle size and three forms of nitrogen hallelujah let's put her out Okay, so I am gonna do super juice today, I decided. My garage is an absolute wreck. Gosh, 
All right, so let me tell you what I'm doing today. I've got about three gallons of hot tap water. I'm only going to treat my front and maybe barbs. And I'm going to put uh, super juice, of course, which is a dry mix. I'm going to put a little bit of permethrin because I've got this grass real short and it's uh, real susceptible to bugs. So I might do a little bit of permethrin, a little bit of propconazole, not much, maybe half treatment mainly for barbs, but it's not, it's okay for mine too. And then a little bit of green dye and that's it. Now I'm not putting any iron because I put down the PGF complete. So it's just sort of a little treatment, very mild, not full strength of anything. Um, but I am going to be testing, oh, just so you know, I am going to be testing these different ratio spray heads just so we can figure out which one we need to use. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so all I do is I mix it up in this bucket, put it through the strainer, catch any of those little humic particles that are slow to dissolve. And again, any of that stuff, I just, when I clean this up, I put it into my shrubs and whatever, I don't worry about it. And then I put it into my tea pitcher. All this stuff, there's links to everything I'm showing you here on the website. Description below, description below, description below website everyone keeps asking so that's where it is I'll fill up some bottles now okay so all I have to do now is so I'm I'm guessing it's gonna be either a 20 to 1 or a 30 to 1 that's gonna work the best make sure you got a washer in there um, the one thing I do with all my spray heads is I cut this annoying safety tab off right here. So go in with a pair of wire cutters, close your eyes, mm. clip that off. Alright, so I've got a 20 to 1 and 31 ratio. Make sure it's on off. Uh, the reason why you make sure it's on off is because if you squeeze this bottle, juice will come out or if it tips over juice will come out so keep it on off until you're ready okay so what I'm doing is I'm testing these different spray heads for Anderson's figuring out what ratio they want to use and I'm definitely between a 20 and a 30 the 30 is good for a slow pace walk lots of saturation the spray is a light green when I go to 20 to 1 it's definitely coming out strong it's a strong so I'm gonna do a, a kind of a medium pace spray and see the coverage rate, how much I get out of a 32 ounce bottle. And of course, you can always dilute the solution more too, if this is too fast. So, now unfortunately it's a little windy today, so I'm just having to deal with that. All right, so I went back and forth and back and forth and I tried the 20 and the 30, the 20, the 30. The 20 was a nice slow pace. I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is, is that people want to feel like that product's really coming out and that 20 to one ratio head was perfect. It was a perfect ratio, lots of green coming out. Uh, if you have to, I'm, it's about 2000 square feet per bottle. Uh, the first round I did, I had to keep low because of the wind, but on my normal spray, I'd get about 2000, 2500 square feet per bottle. If you want to increase the water rate, you know, you can slow your walk rate down, but that's the one we're going to go with. 21 ratio, we'll get them to list it. Now I got to go spray bars. Man, I'll tell you what, that was a long two days worth of work. <laughs> so I got everything done that I need to get done. And I'm going to answer a couple more questions. First, uh, Barb's lawn is all set to recover now. We're supposed to get some cool weather and some rain move in, but it's been cut shorter. It's got uh, PGF Complete put down, and it's got Super Juice Spray. It still looks kind of ugly because it has to heal up. So hers is all done. My lawn. My lawn has been cut 150 times, but it has PGF Complete, uh, has Super Juice sprayed on it, and yes, four or five hours after I sprayed the Super Juice, I still, now I haven't had any rain in 48 hours, so I'm starting back on my light cycle. It's real hot today. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I activate that PGF complete. So yes, I am continuing my cycles. That's a question people have. Now the uh, 
the most amazing test area I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this is that just common Bermuda that used to be weeds. I came over here and uh, it has had PGF complete a couple times. So all I did was cut it and put some super juice on this. Okay, and the world's worst lawn down there, all I did really was just cut it. I haven't sprayed it or put any more PGF complete. I'll probably put some more PGF complete maybe in a week or so. But again, it's ready to heal. It's shorter, it has had PGF complete, and it's ready to heal. And here's what I'm gonna do for you guys. Either every day or every other day, I'm gonna take pictures of these lawns, and on the there's gonna be a web page associated with this video, which I always do. And so I'm going to put updates. I'll do a, a daily or every other day update just to show you how these lawns have actually healed. That'll be kind of cool to do. Uh, that's about it, guys. I'm going to put the work series after this now. Again, all the product links that you need are going to be on below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to watch the, uh, all the work, go ahead and watch all the work.